Hey friends, this is Atif, hope you're well and welcome to the new update on DG Bitcoin. On 4th of December, I shared this idea with you uh, where I told you that the price action of DG Byte can complete the final leg of bullish shark pattern because all the legs were driven perfectly as required for the bullish shark. And now, uh, I'm just going to play this chart. You can see that the price action has been retraced uh, between this potential reversal zone and entered here completely in this area. Now, uh, if we take a look at the live chart here, uh, you can see that it is moving in this potential reversal zone that starts from 80 satoshis and ends up to 21 satoshis. This is really very really big bullish potential reversal zone, but we need to understand uh, the, the specific point where we should buy within this potential reversal zone area because if you buy it here, it will be dropped up to 21 satoshis. Eventually, it will be moved up, but it will be a very, very big drop. So in today's video, we will try to understand that where we should buy the DG Byte. And I believe that in this bull run, when the DG Byte will start its bullish move from this reversal zone, it can cross the previous highest price ever in the history of the DG Byte. That is 14 cents. You can see as per coin market cap data, it is 14 cents. So I believe that in this bull run, it can cross even 15 cents as well. Now, if we take a look at the live uh, daily chart at this time, the DG Byte is moving below the exponential moving averages with the time period of 21 and 10. So uh, I'm looking for uh, at least three signals I've placed here, like the ex exponential moving averages and additional signals or indicators that I've placed uh, are the MACD and the stochastic and the RSI as well. By the way, if you did not subscribe to my channel, then do subscribe it first and do hit the bell icon as well so you will be notified about my videos. And if you would like to support me on the Patreon, then you can uh, join me here as well. I have also shared the link in the video's description you can find there. Now, uh, here we can see that the MACD is very strong bearish and it has also given the bear cross as well. And if we uh, watch the stochastic, then it is completely oversold and the RSI is also completely oversold. There is a very interesting thing that I am just going to show you now. If we move to the small time period chart on the hour, four hour chart, and this is the DG byte with uh, Bitcoin pair, by the way. So here we can see that on the four hour chart, the RSI is oversold, the stochastic is also oversold. And if we take a look at the 12 hour chart, then everything you can see on the 12 hour chart is also oversold. The RSI is uh, in the oversold and the stochastic is also oversold. And if we move to the daily chart, we have already seen that it is oversold. And if we move to the weekly chart, then you can see that RSI is moving in the oversold zone and the stochastic is also moving in the oversold zone. And if we turn to the monthly chart, then you can see that RSI is very close to the oversold, but the stochastic has touched the oversold zone. Now, if we try to understand why the RSI did not visit the oversold zone this time, because it was already uh, came out from the oversold zone and there is a very big move due by the RSI that is to visit the overbought zone that it did not visit so far on the monthly chart. So we can expect that in this bull run, it can visit the overbought zone. L now, if we uh, move to this uh, US dollar chart, yeah, this is the daily a DG byte with US dollar pair chart. Here we can see that the price action from the lowest of December up to so far has rallied more than 98%. But in the meanwhile, it has formed this bullish pattern. And this is considered as a bearish, bearish reversal move, a bearish reversal pattern among the traders community. And we can also see that we don't have any uh, simple moving averages support like I've placed here the 25, 50 and 100 simple moving averages and there is a big distance between the candlesticks and these moving averages. So there is a possibility that the price action may break down uh, this support of the bullish pattern and it will retest the 25, 50 and most probably in my point of view it can retest the 100 simple moving average. Why I'm saying that if we uh, take a look at this chart, this is the same daily chart. Uh, with the US dollar pair, uh, here the price action has found a resistance at 3.2 cents level. And this is really very strong resistance. You can see that the price action found this resistance here uh, in, uh, in August. It was rejected and then it again rejected uh, in, the, in, in September 2020. And again, now you can see that several times it has made so much attempts, but so, so far it is not able to break out this resistance level. So. 
if this uh, if the price action will be rejected by this level then it can retest the previous support that is 2.3 cents and uh, over here we also have the 100 simple moving average at the same level therefore i'm saying that uh, there is a strong possibility uh, that it will move down and it will retest the 100 simple moving average and there is another reason behind that why i am saying that the price action will be moved down because on the daily chart with the bitcoin pair the price action of digibyte is forming another bullish reversal harmonic move and that is the bullish butterfly move you can see that this is the initial lag and after that it is retraced between 0.382 uh, to point uh, 618 to 0.786 Fibonacci retracement level projected between point uh, 382 to 886 uh, Fibonacci projection and now as per uh, the bullish butterfly pattern it should be retraced between 1 1 1.27 that starts approximately from this level and here we have 66 satoshis and ends up to 1.618 retracement level that is approximately 54 satoshis so we can expect that from this potential reversal zone it will be reversed and while it will be moving down in the us dollar market it will turn more bearish in the bitcoin market as well by the way this is one of my suggested trade for my patreons as well uh, if you would like to uh, follow me on the patreon then i have uh, shared the link in the video description you can find there and this uh, potential reversal zone uh, this pattern and when the price action will be entered in this potential reversal zone that can be the final signal that can be uh, that the price action will uh, start a kind of chain reaction it will start the bullish reversal from this daily charts pattern and after that this uh, two week chart pattern the bullish shark pattern will be also executed and it will start the massive bullish rally however i am also looking at the additional signals that i've already shared with you i am also looking at uh, the MACD indicator and the stochastic bull cross and the RSI to turn bullish to enter uh, re-enter in this body and especially the uh, bull cross between the EMA 10 and the 21 this smaller time period moving average EMA 10 should cross up this uh, exponential moving average 21 so all these combination of indicators can confirm us that finally the price action is going to turn bullish and this will be a start of a really very big and massive bull run for the digibyte so this was the update so far i hope that you have liked the video then do hit the like and do subscribe to my channel as well and if you would like to support me on the patreon then you can uh, follow the link i've uh, shared in, in the video's description take care goodbye